Yo, what's up guys? It's Funk Troy here and today I'm going to be making a video about why you guys are not improving and how you guys can fix that. Okay, so first, sensitivity. A lot of you guys play really high sense and most of the people playing those high senses, they really have bad aim and inconsistency in their aim and that can really cause a player to not be improving as fast as they possibly can. And you guys can say you guys have better mechs than a lot of the other players because you play on a high sense. But I'm telling you guys, aiming is better than mechs. If you have good aim, you can do anything. You can beat a player with mechs. Even though that's not the case most of the time, having good aim and good mechs is going to make you a better player overall. And that's really hard to achieve for a lot of the players because if you play on a high sense, you can't really have good aim. But if you play on too slow sense, you can't really have good mechs. So you have to find your space in the middle. And my sense is 7.5, 7.5. And I think that's really in the middle for a lot of the players. You can get good mechs with it and you can get pretty good aim with it. But that's me. For you guys, it might be a little bit different. But you guys should stick around 800 DPI, 7.5, 7.5 to like 10.0, 10.0. I think if you go like over 800 DPI, 15, 15 is a little bit too high and you're going to witness a lot of inconsistency with your aim. And yeah, that's really why most of you guys should not play high sense. High sense is good for a lot of players, but it's very bad for most of players because they will choke their shots a lot. They'll just choke everything. They might try to go for like clips and then die. It's just not good. I might be a little bit biased, but yeah, that's what I think. This is my opinion. Okay, so now for the second reason why you guys aren't improving. Because you guys' mentality is not good. For example, you guys might be playing the cash cup, dial spawn three times in a row. Now you're wondering, oh my god, I gotta get back up in points and then start W King. And then you die again. And then you close the game and then you say to yourself that you're not playing the tournament again. Probably blaming your RNG, your pain, basically blaming the game. When that's not really the reality of it. You really Really gotta see that it's you and you can see what you can do to improve really go on replay check VOD, see what you did wrong see what you missed see what you should have done better you see that's why you guys don't improve a lot because you guys mentality is really holding a lot of you guys back the third reason why you guys are not improving is because you guys overthink too much and you guys overwork yourself too much for example if you if it's late at night and you're forcing yourself to play arena because you're losing points you're just gonna keep losing points you're overworking yourself you should probably go to sleep because overworking yourself is pretty bad and you're really making no improvements it's like studying for a test all night when it's time to take the test you're gonna be sleepy and stuff and your focus might not be as there as it would be if you didn't study all night and you studied beforehand and then take the test tomorrow that would be better because your focus is going to be on the test and you're not going to be distracted you're not going to be sleepy none of that it's like fortnite like if you had a cash cup tomorrow and then you're playing the game all night trying to get champs you're not gonna place or do well in the cash cup because you're gonna be sleepy you're not gonna do that good you're not gonna have that much energy that is why over playing too much is bad okay now for the fourth reason a lot of you guys are frustrated and just almost done with this game at some times that's why you guys need a second game to play like it can be minecraft any rpg game that would work Something to get your mind off Fortnite so you can just chill and Fortnite can feel more relaxed again. The game is going to feel a lot fresher. Everything is going to be just better. No choppiness. It's just going to feel relaxed. Because think about it. If you play this game every single day, don't you think you get tired of it? It's like working a nine-hour shift. You get tired of it after a while, after a while, after a while. So if you keep playing Fortnite, you're going to get tired of it. That's why you guys need to find a new hobby or something, a, a new game that you can play. And yeah guys, make sure you guys find a new hobby or a new game so it can take a little bit of the frustration on Fortnite off your mind. And now for the final and fifth tip, a lot of you guys blame your setup. I know your setup can be holding you back. A lot of you guys setup hold you back. You might be on 60 hertz. Your, your keyboard and mouse might not be as good. You know, but you can't let those things hold you back. Those little things that you're complaining, they're gonna get better. Just because you're on 60 hertz or your keyboard and mouse isn't that good or you don't have a PC, you just gotta adapt to it. Because if you have higher ping, you can't expect to be playing like a zero ping player. Or if you have if you're on console, you can't be expecting to be playing like a PC player with no input delay. You gotta learn the boundaries. Because learning the boundaries will really let you guys improve. Because if you keep blaming all those stuff, you're not gonna improve because you're gonna think those are the things that are holding you back. And yes, those are the things that are holding you back. But you guys are gonna think that is the only thing that's holding you back, and that is the only way you can improve by upgrading, by upgrading your setup, by improving it, improving it, improving it. But no, you guys should really put it in the practice, put in the work and get into that fucking comp scene 
And yeah, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And yeah, peace. Have a good one.